Now for this question, just to recap, we've got at time t seconds the velocity of a particle p is 4t minus 5i plus 3j meters per second. And when t equals naught, the position vector of p is 2i plus 5j meters relative to a fixed origin O. And what we've got to do is find an expression for the position vector of p at time t seconds. So if you'd like to uh, give this a go, if you haven't done so already, just give you a moment to pause the video. Do come back when ready and you can check your work solution with mine. OK, welcome back if you had a go. So how do we do something like this? Well, to get that position vector of p at time t seconds, we should be familiar with the fact that that position vector is equal to the integral of the velocity vector with respect to time. And so we've got our velocity vector here. So if we integrate this, we'll just put it in first of all, we've got 4t minus 5 in the i direction, and then we've got plus 3j. And we integrate this then with respect to time. So for the first component here, integrating 4t with respect to t is 4t squared over 2 or in other words, just simply 2t squared. Integral of minus 5 with respect to t is minus 5t, and all of this is our i component. And then for the j component, integrating that gives us 3t in the j direction. Now we mustn't forget that we're going to get a constant of integration, which I'm going to call plus c, but this constant is going to be a vector. Now, in order to work out what c is, we need to have a boundary condition. And we know that, that when t equals naught, the position vector of p is given by 2i plus 5j. So we can say that when t equals 0, we've got that the position vector r equals 2i plus 5j. And if we call this equation 1, we can use this result, we can sub this into that equation to work out what c is. So if we say sub in 1, what we've got is that r, 2i plus 5j in other words, so therefore 2i plus 5j equals, and substituting t equals naught into here gives us nothing, t equals naught into here gives us nothing, so we're just left with c. So there's our constant vector. So all we need to do now is just substitute this back into 1 again. So if I sub this into 1, so we've now got that therefore r equals 2t squared minus 5t, minus 5t in the i direction, plus 3tj, and then plus c, c being 2i plus 5j. Now it's not a great idea to leave this like this. It's best if we just group up our components. So for the i components, we've got 2t squared minus 5t plus 2. So 2t squared minus 5t plus 2 in the i direction. And then for the j components, we've got the 5 plus the 3t. 5 plus 3t in the j direction. And that's our value of the position vector of p at time t.